Spurgeon here with RevZilla, and in this video, we're going to walk you through the TCX Airwire Surround Gore-Tex boots available at RevZilla.com. Now, if these look familiar, they should. The Clima Surround from TCX, for one of our gear guide winners from last year, really stoked on that boot, but that's a full height version. So what TCX has done is they've now introduced the Airwire Surround Gore-Tex, which is gonna be more of a mid-height version. My only real complaint is that these are coming in around the $280 mark, whereas you can go the full height for 300. I don't think they did enough to differentiate the price. I would have loved to have seen these coming in probably somewhere around the $250 mark, um, just to give a little bit more room between this and the Clima. That being said, there's actually some of the materials that I found in the Airwire boot that I like more than what we saw in that original climate surround. So we're gonna dive into all of that right now, starting with the fitment. So the TCX Airwire Surround Gore-Tex boots fit true to size. You shouldn't really have any surprises. Sizes will range from 38 up to 48. They are gonna be done in a European size, so if you're not sure exactly where that fits for you, you can always use the size chart which correlates nicely between American sizing and European sizing. One color is available, and that is the black that you will see on the table right now. Like I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be coming in around that $280 mark, so just keep in mind that we do have our price match guarantee at RevZilla, so you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. Now, if you're not familiar with Gore-Tex, Gore-Tex is pretty much the gold standard of waterproof protection. It doesn't let water in, but it still allows sweat to evaporate. So what they've done with the surround technology is they've incorporated that even further into your footwear. So the Gore-Tex now surrounds your foot, and you're gonna see these little uh, vents basically on the bottom. And what that does is it allows any sweat from the bottom of your foot to evaporate and escape throughout the bottom of the boot, and it's actually built into the sole. Now this is a technology that TCX um, had priority exclusive rights to. Uh, it is now going to be something that's gonna see, be seen a little bit more widely around, but again, they were really the first to bring this technology to market, and they're carrying it through with a lot of the Gore-Tex boots that you're gonna see them producing. So again, really this is gonna be based for comfort. So this is gonna be that mid-height touring boot. So if you're looking for a solid sport touring offering, this is really what you're gonna be considering. About nine and a half inches up front, you are gonna have about seven and a half inches out back. And if you wanted to bump to that full height option, that's where the climber would come into play. So the construction on this is gonna be a microfiber and mesh hybrid. And when I said at the beginning of the video that there were some of the materials in this particular boot that I like better than what we saw in the climber, it's gonna be the mesh. So the mesh, allows any kind of moisture from the inside to evaporate more easily than if you were to have a full microfiber. But what I like about this is that the abrasion resistant mesh that they use is much beefier, in my opinion, than what we saw in the Clima. So you get a really sturdy feeling boot. It doesn't feel um, loose and flimsy, which is what can happen with certain kinds of mesh. Um, if we're looking at the sole on this, simple sole, uh, nice solid grip pattern to it, anti-slip technology. It's about a four out of 10 for rigidity, so something you can easily comfortably walk around in all day. And then there is going to be a, uh, a midsole uh, shank in this. So if you are using this on your motorcycle, it helps to cut down on fatigue because you have that extra support in the, uh, in the arch of your foot. Now you are gonna have a little bit of TPR at the front here, and it's gonna be symmetrically done, so your little shifter panel that would really only be needed on your left boot is gonna be carried over to your right boot. Reinforcement at the toe, reinforcement at the heel, a little bit of pop of reflectivity there. You're gonna have ankle cups on both sides, and then from getting into the boot, it's gonna be a very simple Velcro entry point. And you can see that, that waterproof gator right there goes to about two inches below the top of the boot. So just make sure that whatever waterproof pants you're wearing go down and cover the entire boot. There is also a new ortho light or insole with this too. So with the insole, it's gonna just help to make it more breathable. It's gonna help to flow air around, which helps to cut down on the sweat and helps that sweat to be pushed out the bottom of the surround Gore-Tex. So again, really new technology. It's only been on the market for a little over a year when we're talking about the Gore-Tex surround. But for those of you that have ever used a Gore-Tex boot to keep your feet dry, you know that it does do a good job of helping to wick the sweat away and help to keep water out. This just takes that one step further with the new TCX Airwire surround Gore-Tex boot. Now there's a lot of folks out there that have been using the Climus surround boot. There's a lot of folks out there I'm sure that'll be interested in this. And if you wanna hear more about what they have to say, 
can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device where you can read other rider reviews from folks that are already putting the TCX Airwire surround Gore-Tex boots through their paces. If you have more questions for any one of our gear geeks as to which boots are right for you and your riding style, you can always give them a shout at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot an email over to cs at ribzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the TCX Airwire Surround Gore-Tex boots. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.